It's the NFL on EA Sports, and the wait is over for this rivalry game. It's the New Orleans Saints and the Atlanta Falcons, and it comes your way next. First opened in 2017, there's a look at the beautiful state-of-the-art Mercedes-Benz Stadium here in Atlanta, GA. Today, we've got an NFC South matchup, as it'll be the New Orleans Saints taking on the Atlanta Falcons. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gunn, and Charles kickoff moments away. Quickly, what are you watching in this one? The offensive line for both teams, because both teams have a terrific pass rush. They've got to keep their passers upright. If they have a chance to do that, they can both thrive on offense and move the ball downfield. one teed up and we are underway from Atlanta on the return here's Rashid Shaheed and his guys will get the football right at the 20 yard line and here come the Saints for their opening drive they're led out by their quarterback out of Fresno State Derek Carr it's been fun to watch his development through the years and right now what you see is a very confident quarterback who has a strong sense of self totally understands the offense and knows how to get the ball to his playmakers on the run. Carr right away going to look to throw. There's Johnson with a reception. And they're able to get this one across the 35. An early statement on the game's first play. 18 yards and a first down. That's a good start to the ball game. Maybe a little bit of a tone setter offensively. They come out throwing right away, and it's an early completion and a quick first down. On first down, Carr. Again, it's Johnson. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. So the completion results there in nine yards, and it'll bring up a second and short. I know sometimes we can get fooled when we watch him make catches, as we just saw him do there, because he really looks like a wide receiver the way he goes about his business. Yeah, 230, 240 range. Yeah, not, not super huge. Maybe not counted on to be that in-line point-of-attack blocker that we used to have in the good old days. But you can flex him out. You can run wide receiver routes with him. You can make him a primary target. And that's how he'll shred a defense. A big hitter there. A first down gain of 26 yards. Looked like they picked a heck of a time to run the counter. And we've been saying that in this great game of football probably since we started playing. Anytime you get guys thinking you're going to go one way and you hit back the opposite side, oh, it's a great chance it can turn into the type of play we just saw there. A big gainer. Throwing on first down is Carr. Now he'll be taken in by Shahid. Down he goes at the 23, a pickup of four. A gain of four. It's now a second and six at the 23 yard line. From the 23, here's second and six. Now Carr. That is hauled in by Michael Thomas. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7th. That one goes for 16 yards. It sets them up first and goal. Boy, how about the speed with which this offense can get down the field? It's taking them no time at all to get down here. And now they're set up with a first and goal. First and goal. A chance for an early statement here on the road. Carr. And it's caught. 
That's good for a gain of six, second and goal. And the pocket's been protected pretty good here so far in the opening drive. We always talk about confidence in runners and catchers and quarterbacks. How about the protection detail? They're not allowing anyone near the guy throwing the football. Second and goal from the one. Williams is in. Touchdown, New Orleans. Everybody in the stadium knew what they were going to do right there, CD. Three tight ends on the field, all that extra bulk, and they run it in. And you saw where that one went, right? You run it over your best blocker. I can just see the head coach right now. I want to run this one over the big boy. And they got it done. And a point after, good by Groupie. And it's now a 7-0 game. So that a seven-play, 80-yard drive. And it was Jamal Williams who ended things with a touchdown run. After the touchdown, here's Groupie to kick this one away. No return here for Patterson, so they'll begin things at the 25-yard line. So here come the Falcons now to get the football for the first time. And a glance here at their shifty mobile signal caller. And you know how scouts always talk about checking all the boxes? I think this young man does exactly that when you're looking for an NFL quarterback. Proven leader, teams went 43 and six while he was in college, has speed, dual threat ability, and production off the charts while he was in school, and also did a nice job of limiting turnovers. When you put it all together, there's a lot to be excited about for this young quarterback. Now a first carry here for Robinson, and he maneuvers up the middle for three, and it's second down. Brandon, to me, what's important right here on this drive is for them to get at least two first downs. They've got to give their defense a chance to settle down, catch their breath a little bit after they give up a touchdown on the opening drive. Here's second and seven now from the 28. Ritter to throw it. Looking sideline incomplete. So many times we've seen him try to escape the pocket and do something with his legs, but in this case, the pressure was too intense and he made the wise choice to just get rid of the football and make sure no one was gonna get it. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. Here's Ritter. That is caught. They'll have the first down and more than that. It's a big play. And even 50 yards. Oftentimes, now offenses aren't nearly as precise as days gone by. They just saw receivers find an open patch of grass and let the quarterback find you. And that's exactly what they did on that play. First with the pass through the air. A nice chunk of yardage there. And then additional pickup with his legs after the catch. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. Robinson, he'll try the left side. And they'll get to him just inside the 15, even after the strong run we just saw. They're able to corral him quickly defensively. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. Back now in Atlanta, second quarter action. The Falcons with the football. Now a second and two, as they've got it as we resume action. Looking to throw it here, Ritter. The hitter here, it's complete. And the Falcons are going to be set up with a first and goal coming up as they get him down at the six-yard line. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to, pick up a first down. First and goal, and a chance to get that initial touchdown right back. Ritter headed right off the option. And the hole closes quickly here. He can fight only to about the four. 
two yards the gain on the keeper and it's second down. Typically on the read option play, when we talk about responsibilities, we're talking about what the quarterback has to go through. How about the inside linebacker, though? His job on this play, shadow the quarterback and hold him to a short gain. Did it to perfection. On play action, here's Ritter. This to Pitts, and he's got him. Touchdown, Atlanta. Four yards on the touchdown, Graham. And the Falcons are an extra point away from evening this one up. This is why a lot of play calls love play action in this spot. You just want to freeze the linebackers just for a second. Then you got a chance to get a quick pass into your tight end right behind them for a touchdown. Extra point attempt here still to come. It's up and good, and we're tied at seven here in quarter number two. So the drive winds up going 75 yards in seven plays. And it was the tight end Kyle Pitts finishing it all off on the touchdown reception. kicks away from his end zone here's Rashid Shaheed and he's able to get this across the 20 but not by much as he's marked out officially at the 21 New Orleans Saints they get ready to set up shop for their second drive this drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups remember the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out looking to repeat that Charles's defense they were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field and frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. The car is so complete there to Thomas. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. This drive starting off on the right foot, 18 yards. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. The throw over the middle taken in. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Well, he's been a busy man in this first half. They've targeted him quite a bit, including both plays here to start this drive. And until that defense starts reacting a little better, they may just keep going back to him. Second quarter, two minutes to go. Tie ball game. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. To throw its car. He gets it left side to Johnson. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. My goodness, they've come out locked in on this drive. Play calling, execution, they are fully in sync. Three straight passes, three first downs. They're moving the ball downfield almost at will. This defense really struggling to find answers. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. 41 yards rushing for him now in his first two carries in the ballgame. His first carry of their second drive, pretty solid. And, of course, remember back to their first drive, really strong throughout that one. Not only is he getting good blocking up front, but how about his vision to find the holes? And he's seeing things before they even open and hurdling through him. Touchdown, New Orleans. A seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Saints will take the lead here in the final minute of the first half. And that touchdown gives them a touchdown lead before they attempt the extra point. What a great way to end the half. Yeah, great job to put themselves in front. And now, see on the sideline, special teams defense scrambling, saying we want to preserve this for the final moments of this second quarter. 
Groupie able to add the PAT. And that makes the score 14 to 7. The drive summary that time, five plays. And it all culminates in a Saints touchdown. After the touchdown, here's Groupie to kick this one away. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. And the Falcons now going to go on offense late in this first half. A slim deficit here in a one possession game. Not much time left, obviously. We'll see if they can march this down the field, at least get three and take some momentum into the locker room. First down, Ritter. Over the middle, he gets it to Patterson. Now the Falcons going to use one of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 37 seconds to play in this first half. Got it here at the 29 on second and eight. Ritter now. That's into the hands of Pitts, the tight end. The Falcons going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop him with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. to throw on first and 10. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. Falcons going to use their third and final timeout as they'll stop the clock with 26 seconds to go until halftime. Second down and four. Back to throw, Ritter. He'll get this into the hands of Van Jefferson. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's made at the Saints 32-yard line. 15 yards there for number 15. So even though it's first down, here's the field goal unit on now to try to get three before halftime. Two knocks this one to the post. First half. So we have reached halftime with the visiting Saints out on top as we send you down to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports halftime report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Back to you guys in a bit. But first, we welcome everyone to our EA Sports halftime report. We were certainly treated to an entertaining first half. Both these teams with some high points and maybe a couple of low points as well. So it's going to be a question of who can be the most disciplined team going forward. Okay, Coach. Yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. football and they trail here as we get back underway on EA Sports taken at the goal line 
And he'll be dropped at the 21-yard line. So bringing it out of the end zone proves not a good decision. Loses him about four yards. So we get set to start this third quarter. Here's the Falcons offense now. Well, Charles, we saw a pretty entertaining first half, close ball game. Remember there toward the end of the second quarter, the opposition scored to take the lead. Now we'll see if these guys can get a score of their own to regain that lead. Yeah, they want to have that type of a response, don't they? Because they want to find a way to take control of this ball game one more time. Gauntlet's been thrown down. They want to see if they're ready to answer it. Second half begins with a run by Robinson. And he is going to lose yardage here. That's Demario Davis navigating his way into the backfield for a tackle for loss. This defense is just flat getting after it. They have not given up much of anything in the run game. Case in point right there. So the opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. Again, it's Robinson. Down he goes at the 23, a pickup of four. I have to think a major focus of the halftime means had to be figured out how to create space for the running game to get operating. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secured before they slide off and try and chip someone at the second level. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he's going to have a Falcons first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And that's how you pick up a first down. Not only does he make the catch, but has enough body control to get his feet down inbounds, toe-tapping and dragging to make sure he gets it done. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. And Ritter back to throw. And he's got this to Jefferson. It's a big play there for Atlanta. 42 yards. Well, partner, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play. They picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. A give left side to Robinson. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and 10. Really good stop there by the end in this 4-3 defense. Yeah, not just pass rushers anymore, are they? Those guys can use their hands, control the point of attack, shed those blockers, and go get those ball carriers. Go and play action. Ritter. And he's going to be taken down back around the 35-yard line. Zach Bond from that outside linebacker spot gets in there. It's a loss of nine. And the passing game's been struggling a bit today, and that was the latest example. Haven't been getting much yardage out of it, and now on his back after the last play, he faces third and long. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. He's got his target. That's complete. And he'll be out of bounds about a half to a full yard shy of the five. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. A field goal helps, but a touchdown gets you the lead. That had to be the message transmitted in the huddle. And the delivered there is that throw is going to keep the drive alive. And even better than that, set them up with a first and goal. They'll run with Robinson. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. Give him four on the carry there and second and goal. As long as you've been the air attack, has gotten him down here. But now is where you start to lean on that running game. That's a good pickup there on first and goal. From the two now, second and goal. Ritter. And this is caught for the Falcon touchdown. John Smith, a two-yard touchdown grab. And the Falcons have taken the lead as they go right down the field and score on the opening drive of the second half. 
And down near the goal line here, they're able to throw it in. And the key word, quick. Quick hitter out of his hands fast, into the receiver's hands even faster. Coup now for the point after. It's good, and they'll take a 17-14 lead. That time, a nine-play drive. And it was John o. Smith, the big tight end, who capped the drive with a touchdown reception. Touchdown now, it's Bradley Pinion on to kick this one away. And he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20. Getting set for their next drive, the New Orleans offense. And yeah, they'll be working from behind now following the touchdown a moment ago on the opening drive of the half. I think the guys right now, as they go out on offense, they're zeroing in on one big key. They don't have to do anything differently just because they're down on the scoreboard now. The intent, still the same in what they plan to do on offense. We have played three quarters. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Back now in Atlanta. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point. Just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. Carr now on first down. Finding Taysom Hill complete. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. It certainly feels like there are more stars at the tight end position than there were even 10 years ago. And I think it's become more of a glamour position because of the ways it can hurt a defense, and guys want to be involved. They can be in line, close to the line of scrimmage. They can split out like receivers. But hands, route running, speed, and some toughness to go across the middle, you put it all together, you get a heck of a tight end candidate. And Kamara's going to have a Saints first down as he's going to get this down to the 45-yard line. Again, it's Kamara. 60 yards rushing for him now. He's only carried the ball four times. I tell you, they didn't give it to him much for the first three quarters, but when they have, he's been efficient. Maybe they ride him more here down the stretch. Yeah, I'm not sure it was actually in the game plan for him to have as few carries as he has, but it might play out really well for them now. As you noted, if they want to ride him down the stretch, he should have fresh legs. On first down, Carr. Out loud to Hill, complete. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets this down about the 21 or 22. Well, that tight end position, it just seems to continue to evolve every year in the NFL. Yeah, you're getting really terrific athletes. A lot of them maybe were wide receivers at one point. They continue to give you speed, great hands, and big bodies, which make them excellent targets for quarterbacks. Meanwhile, Carr's throw complete there to Johnson. That good for six as they keep this drive right on rolling. That was a route run not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and put the down marker back to one. All three timeouts plus the two-minute warning. Here's first and ten. Into the red zone, it's Carr. Again, it's Johnson. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. One of the advantages of zone defense, as I remember it, is being able to see the play develop in front of you. One of the disadvantages, when they find those levels where they can hit you with it, sometimes behind the corner and in front of the safety, it makes it tough to defend. They come up now on second and two. Again, it's Carr. The Saints are looking at first and goal as he's tackled all the way down at the two-yard line. 
think it all came together there. In-breaking route, drove it with excellent pace. Money throw right there to move the sticks. Now first and goal. Car to throw. And he's got it. Touchdown, Saints. Juwan Johnson, a two-yard touchdown grab. And the Saints put together a fourth-quarter drive to take the lead. And touchdown and congratulations and zero relaxation ahead of them, right? Way too much time on the clock for them to start celebrating. Yeah, part one is done, but now on the sideline, you can already see them scrambling down there. They're getting those defensive guys ready. Yes, you have to get those guys ready, and you also have to talk to your special teams guys. Make sure the kickoff is exactly what you want and cover it well. And the point after, goodbye groupie. And that will make this a four-point game. After the touchdown, here's Groupie to kick this one away. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. So now Ritter and the Falcons down 21 to 17. Less than 90 seconds to go. How will this thing pan out? We'll watch as they come up on first down. Here's Ritter. Completes this to Jefferson. And he's going to get out of bounds with the first down. So that's going to double their pleasure for sure. They get the first and save a timeout. That's what they need right now. Get the first down, get out of bounds, stop the clock. Just playing smart football, understanding the situation, making the plays necessary, and making sure that clock stops at every opportunity. Pass complete to Robinson. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. All defense is worried that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it can turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal gain. Here comes second down and five. Ritter looks to throw it. And he's got his big wide receiver complete. But they picked up a little bit of yardage there. And now, in this situation, should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. All three timeouts still at their disposal. Here's first and ten now. Ritter. He's going to find Jefferson open downfield. Now the Falcons going to use one of their timeouts. As the clock stops here with 46 seconds left to play. Here's first and goal. Now Ritter. And he will throw this one out of the back of the end zone. It's incomplete. Whew, that's certainly not the worst thing. It stops the clock and lets your offense catch its breath and lets us exhale a little bit. Now I expect them to call a couple plays in the huddle. So they're ready if a tackle happens in bounds. Nothing on first down, so the ball remains at the eight-yard line. Second and goal. Back to throw. Ritter. This is caught. He takes it across for the touchdown, and they've taken the lead late in the final minute of the fourth. Wow, wow. What a 
a game this has been, and what a drive that was, Charles, to take the lead here late in the fourth quarter. And, partner, that's a job well done by everyone, from the players to the guys calling the plays. And if I may introduce just one downside to the mix, might be a little bit too much time left. Enough on the clock for a final last-ditch effort to try and steal this win away. Koo able to connect on the extra point. So it's now a three-point game here in the closing stages as a field goal now can only tie it. Kickoff honors following the touchdown. This fielded right at the goal line. And taken down just past the 20 at about the 21-yard line. Now all the focus shifts over to the Saints. Trailing by a field goal. 35 seconds to go. But they need at minimum three points out of this as they come up first and 10. Throwing his car. He's got his target. It's Alave. The Saints going to call the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with just under 30 seconds left to go. Two timeouts still in their back pocket. It's first and ten. Here's Carr. That'll be taken in by Shahid. Now we'll get a quick timeout called by New Orleans, number two. That'll leave him with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Now second and four. Now Carr. It's complete. Camara. And the defense here giving him no recourse but to get out of bounds after a gain of just a yard. It didn't check off every box, but the most important one. Got the clock stopped. Getting out of bounds. It may be a little short of the first down, but I thought that was the key. The sound reverberating here in the dome. This is third down. Carr. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he is going to have a Saints first down by about three yards or so as they wind up getting seven there on third and four. And the clock will now stop as a timeout is called with five seconds left. One final try now for Carr. This for all the marbles. And that is going to be incomplete. Boy, they got the tip they were looking for, but couldn't secure it. And this one's over. What a game we were treated to in this one. And on that final play, they had a chance. They had the ball just beyond midfield for one final shot, but couldn't get it done, and they suffer the loss. Yeah, and you mentioned how they had a chance on that final play, and getting it to midfield gave them that opportunity, hoping they could find their way to the end zone and make that miracle happen. A really good ending to an entertaining contest, though. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports.